every night when we go to sleep. We leave behind our physical body and go into the astral plane, the world where dreams take place. This is another place that exists beyond the physical dimension. A parallel world where everything that can be found here also has its counterpart over there. And normally when we go to sleep, we lose ourselves in thoughts and are unaware of the separation from the physical body taking place. Yet dreams don't just occur in our head. Rather we go to the astral dimension and there are thoughts and emotions project the dream scenarios that we are caught up in. This is then the main thing that forms our dreams. And when we wake up in the morning, we often only remember a few things and are unaware of most that has happened. Yet despite the weight of our own subconscious, it is a real place we all go to and we can be fully conscious while being there, aware of the fact that we are in this dream world. It is a place where we are able to explore unimaginable and wondrous things. One of the amazing things we can do there, and something many people have experienced, is that we're able to fly. The feeling of flying and that sense of freedom can be very uplifting. To be able to go anywhere on the planet, and even fly up into space. And in this way, you can go to sacred sites and spiritual places to explore them in the astral plane and find out what mysteries they really hold. We can also go somewhere instantly by visualizing the place. And in the astral we're able to call upon and meet spiritual beings from whom we can receive profound teachings. And in this dimension it's possible to experience spiritual feelings right at the core. Now many teachings are given in a symbolic way. This is because the language of the astral plane is symbolic. And through symbolic events in our dreams and astral experiences, each of us can be shown things and can be taught. And over there we can get insights that uncover the hidden workings of darkness influencing the world. And this is knowledge that you cannot get here within the limits of physical research. We can learn about ourselves, about who and what we really are inside. We can get to know more about our long pasts, our current state, and can see premonitions of future events. And very importantly, we can use the astral as a means to look into our thoughts and emotions, and deeply understand what is behind them, to gain precious knowledge of ourselves. We can even find out the truth about life from other planets. Truly, the astral plane gives you the means to explore and know the higher realities of life. 
it is a way to connect to the divine. There are basically two ways to go to the astral plane. The first is to leave the body consciously. By relaxing our body and concentrating our mind on one thing, we stay psychologically awake while our physical body falls asleep. And in this way we go into the astral plane. This process is known as astral projection. The second way we can be conscious in the astral plane is by lucid dreaming. This is where you are dreaming and you suddenly realize you're in a dream. And you become conscious and aware, perceiving the astral world around you. Now, to many, this is known as a lucid dream. But it's important to remember that in the astral, we can easily stay under the influence of the subconscious and identified with its dream scenarios. So a person can think of riding a pink dinosaur, for example. And such a thought can then make that scenario appear in the eyes of the dreamer. But it's much more interesting to see what's really there, instead of being stuck in fantasies of our own subconscious. Rather, we should aim to be as objective as we can in the astral, as this will make our experiences meaningful. There's also another way in which people leave their body, and that is in a near-death experience. This is where a person has died, leaves the body, but is later on revived. And when we astral project, or wake up in our dreams, are out of our body and are conscious in another dimension of life, even seeing our physical self asleep in bed, we begin to see that we're more than just a body, that we exist beyond the physical world. And when we realize that we are being taught and given teachings in our dreams, and have conscious spiritual experiences, we may see that higher forces exist, and this can make us see ourselves, our world, our very existence in a different way. To learn how to experience the astral properly requires the correct information and techniques and practice. Yet this is not just something for historical figures or people living in faraway places. This is something you can learn to do. Empower yourself with your own direct knowledge of the spiritual, instead of never really knowing or being satisfied with a belief or a scientific theory. So if in yourself you feel that there is more to life, then perhaps now is the time to turn that feeling into action and find out what life is.